faithfully provided food for the Israelites as they traveled in the desert to the Promised Land. They ate quail, and this is a stuffed, smaller version, but the cool thing about it is that you and your students can press a button to hear a lifelike quail call. Very reasonably priced, well worth the money. I'll put the link to purchase it in the comments section. God also gave the Israelites a new to them food called manna. Manna literally means, what is it? So you could pull up this jar, especially with your younger students, and ask them if it looks good and if they would like it for a snack. And when they inevitably ask, what is it? You can reply, exactly. Older students might recognize it for what it is, potato flakes. So up your game with them by arranging with your classroom helper to ask you what it is at the appropriate time. And then proceed to have a who's on first Abbott and Costello routine. This bread from heaven came down every morning with the dew and tasted like wafers made with honey. Hoarding was strictly forbidden. Those who took more than a day's worth of food found a pot of worms in their bucket the next morning. God wanted his people to rely on them to meet their daily needs, and he wants that same kind of faith from us. This is Becky from Experience the Bible Creatively, reminding you that props are always better than paper. Mm -hmm.